Student from Erie who disappeared and was later found in Washington State is coming home tonight. Jordan Lampus's family rushed to the West Coast this week after they learned she'd been found safe. Bob Allen spoke with Jordan's mother today and has reaction tonight. Bob. Well, it's been nearly one week of pain and anguish for Jordan Lampus's family, not knowing if they would ever see her again. But she was found thousands of miles away from home, and tonight, when her plane lands, the story will hopefully have a happy ending. What do you call that? Tina Lampus can rest easy. Her six-day search for her missing daughter, Jordan, ended when she received a phone call. When my daughter called me, and um, at the same time we had her on the phone, we got a hold of the Attorney General's office in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And they reached out to Seattle to dispatch the local police up in Seattle to go find her. Tina says her daughter's phone pinged the second time while she was in Seattle. They were then able to tell authorities where to find her. It all started when Jordan never came home Saturday from her apartment in Erie, where she attended Gannon University. She drove west, where her phone pinged the first time in Kearney, Nebraska. Then her van was found abandoned four and a half hours away in Cheyenne. That's when Tina and her husband flew to Wyoming, determined to find her. Everybody has just been a huge blessing, a huge support. I can't thank enough to the people in Cheyenne for helping us and taking us in. Tina says her daughter caught a bus to Denver and then took another bus to Seattle. Thrilled while hearing her voice, they immediately caught a flight from Cheyenne to Seattle to see Jordan in a hospital. And that's just such a blessing. I mean, it's just such an, your, your heart just sunk so much, and, and yet here it is so full to, to see her, and here she is fine, you know. I mean, just, just a huge relief. Now, when asked why Jordan left home in the first place, her mother said there are some issues and they are working to resolve them. And she's hoping Jordan will get her life back on track and go to law school. Reporting live at Pittsburgh International Airport, Bob Allen, KDKA News.